of you soaking at the house. Today I want to talk about the Victoria Falls. The Victoria Falls that was discovered in 1855 according to a David a Livingston. But historically we know that the local people who were staying here, the Tonga people, the Alosi people, they already knew about the Victoria Falls. I want to talk about this Falls that we are ever. We say that the local people, the Alosi people, they referred it as Mosiatunya. It was known as Mosi. By who? The Alosi people. And we also see on that the Tonga people, they refer to this Shungo Namutitima. It was Titimarina. The water, as you have seen there, is like boiling. It's coming with a power. So the, our Tonga people, they had to say that it, it has got the Shungo. It was Titimarina. It, has, it was coming with what? With a power. So that's why it was called Shungo Namutitima. But in 1855, David Livingstone, he had to call it Victoria Falls after the British Queen, Queen of Victoria. He was so much surprised by the wonders at Victoria Falls. So he had to attribute it to Queen of Victoria. The beauty of Victoria Falls, he had to attribute it to a Queen of Victoria. We have got so many visitors, so many tourists who come here at Victoria Falls. Why? Because a natural wonder. The view, the sight, the movement of water, it's just mesmerizing. So many people come here, so many tourists come here. If you are in other countries, if you want to see Victoria Falls, come to Zimbabwe and see a, the, a natural wonder. See the goodness of the water, the goodness of uh, what, uh, the uh, falls. It is said that the falls has got the depth of 1,000 708 meters. It's 1,708 meters going down. It is found at the borders of Zimbabwe and Zambia. Uh, that is what we have on Victoria Falls. I am a Dr. Moussa.